Yeah, it's gonna be very short, folks. We've got about five minutes before we gotta cut this up. All right. so whose idea was it for you to be here in the first place? Did Dean initiate the phone call, or how did this come about? Uh, yes, Dean called me several weeks ago and said we'd like to to begin the initiative, uh, drive for signatures, and I said I'd be happy to support it. Uh, I've been talking to Dean, I've been talking to the mayor over the last several months about getting more engaged. If I can play a constructive role, I want to be here. But this was a great day. This is a you see the passion of the fans. You see how important this is to them, and it's our job to go and find a solution for this community and for the team. Are you disappointed that the mayor isn't here today? Well, the mayor is going to make his own decisions the way he needs to do. As I said, the mayor asked me to get involved with the process uh, a couple of months ago. I have been. Our staff has been. Uh, I think it's very important to this community. We think that the initiative that's begun here, while it still needs additional work, additional focus, but it's a, it represents a solution for this community, and we all have to work together to get to that point. And Commissioner, uh, Mr. Spanos has said right from the beginning he wants to stay in San Diego. It looks like he's giving it every shot. Absolutely. I mean, Jim, uh, Dean Spanos and his family deserve all the credit for coming and saying, we want to be in this community. We want to find a solution. And we're going to support him in the National Football League. As you know, the owner supported it with an additional $100 million on top of this $200 million. Uh, I'm confident that if we can get a stadium built, they'll want to support it with the Super Bowl. Uh, I think that's what this community deserves, and we're all going to work to try to find those solutions. I know you, Why do you, I know you just said that, that the mayor is going to do what the mayor is going to do, but doesn't it seem kind of strange that he's not behind this effort? Well, I think the mayor wants to get all the facts. He wants to try to understand it, and, and I would encourage him to come in and, and be part of helping us find the answers and, and to structure this in a way that's really right for the community and be part of the the, uh, the solution and, and help us to work together to get to the right place. What about the, uh, the presence of the NFL in San Diego? Do, do you think it's important here? I mean, I do. Here? I said that and I, I mean it. I think the Chargers belong in San Diego. Uh, I think this is a great community, a uh, great fan base. Everyone's acknowledged that we need a new stadium. The great thing I love about this proposal is more than a stadium. Uh, you're, you're not only addressing the stadium, but you're also addressing needs on the convention facilities. And what we need to do as NFL is support this community in the effort. We don't make the decision. This is for the community to make, but we certainly want to help be part of that solution. Last question for the commissioner. What else can the league do to help support this cause? I mean, there's going to be the that you can't get something done in San Diego with the politics and the government, and why can't, what else can the You know, I, I've been involved with these types of initiatives in communities all across the country. Uh, they're complex, uh, sometimes they're involved with a lot of politics, uh, but they're important for communities. And when you structure it right and you have the right input, uh, you can come up with solutions that work for for the community in general and for the team, of course. So we want to be part of that, and we will work in a constructive way to do that. Okay, that's it. We got to get the commissioner out of here. I'm sorry, he's got to go. We got a couple questions. Thank you, Commissioner. Mr. Gene, Spindles, what did you think of today's turnout? To you to have the commission here to support you today. Well, it shows the support, obviously, of the NFL ownership, and uh, he's committed to do anything he can to help us to get this initiative approved. This is going to be a very difficult task, you know that, but you've, all, you've always said you wanted to stay here. I have, and I, I still do. I always have, and uh, we're committed to follow this thing through. I'm optimistic, obviously overwhelmed today and uh, encouraged, but we still have a long ways to go. Dean, can you talk about the turnout today and the enthusiasm? Is it what you expected? Yeah, I, well, I, I, you never know what to expect, but I mean, it was, uh, and I would say it far exceeded what I thought was going to be here. I'm so happy I can't believe it, but uh, again, like I said, we got a long ways to go. Does that show that maybe the fans have short-term memory and... The LA thing is kind of more in the distance now as they focus right here in San Diego. I sure hope so. So we'll see from there. Hey Dean, why was downtown more attractive than Qualcomm? I think because primarily it was a joint use facility versus a single purpose facility at Mission Valley. I think um, it was a tougher sale. It would have been a tougher sale to the, the voters to have a single purpose stadium at Mission Valley where downtown here. Uh, there's the benefit of the convention center tied in with the uh, stadium. 
There's cost efficiencies there that uh, both will be able to take advantage of, and it's something that'll be used hopefully 200 days plus a year. What's okay, guys, I got to get Dean out of here. Last question, all right? One more. What is your That's it, Ricky. What do you got? Not just the Chargers thinking, but NFL. Talk with uh, the commissioner about hosting drafts here, Pro Bowls here. Just the asset that this uh, facility could be more than just for games for the NFL and for the entire city. Well, I'm really encouraged by the fact that he's going to help support the possibility of a Super Bowl here. I'm confident that the owners will support us for a Super Bowl here from the past three. They've had great experience. But also, as you said, you know, possibly a Pro Bowl, the draft. Uh, there's no there's no commitment to the Pro Bowl or draft in the future in, to any one city. So it's open and it'd be a great thing for San Diego. All right. Thank you, thank you guys. You.